Hello mga kananay! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If baguhan ka sa channel ko, just click the subscribe button para ma-notify ka sa aking mga next upload. Okay, yung latest uploaded video ko po sa aking YouTube channel ay tungkol sa mga tips kung paano natin ipuputi train ang ating mga toddler. Now, number one tip, tip na binigay ko sa inyo is you should make sure that your toddler is ready. Okay? Now, you may ask ano yung mga signs paano natin malalaman kung ready na nga bang iputi train ang ating mga toddler. And that is why yun ang gagawin ko for today's episode. Ibibigay ko yung mga signs. Ano ba yung mga signs that can tell the your child is ready to be put to train. Kaya naman, please keep on watching. Okay, I just wanna let you know that yung puti training success ng ating mga toddler ay nakabase sa tatlong aspeto ng kanilang katawan, physiological, developmental, and behavioral aspects na bata. Okay, many children show signs of being ready between ages 18 to 24 months. However, yung iba, um, they might not be ready until 3 years old. So, ibig sabihin, huwag natin sila in a rush. Now, ano nga ba yung mga signs that your child is physiological, developmental, and behavioral ready to put it train. Okay, then ask yourself these six questions. First, can your child walk to or see it? Second, can your child pull down his or her pants and pull them up again? And number three, can your child stay dry for up to two hours? Number four, can your child understand basic instructions or can they follow um, simple directions or instructions? Number five, can your child communicate kung kailan siya magpipi or poo? And number six, does your child show interest in using toilet or nagsusuot na ba siya ng mga uh, big kid underwear? or um, short. Okay. So, yun yung six questions na, na kailangan mong sabutin. And if you if you answer it mostly yes, then meaning to say, your toddler is ready to be put in train. Kapag si toddler ay kaya na mag-stay dry up to two hours or after enough time na kita mo na walang laman yung kanyang diaper, then meaning to say, your child is physiologically ready. So, kaya nang i-control ng kanyang muscle, yung pag-hold ng ihi, at pag-empty ng bladder kapag iihi. And yung ng kanyang rectum, yung pooping niya. Okay? Kapag naman, ang yung toddler ay marunong na mag-squat, they can walk, they can sit, and they can pull up and down their pants, and kaya na nila makipag-communicate sa'yo, Pwedeng true signs kapag hindi pa marunong magsalita. Uh, once na na-feel nila or na, na alam nila yung signals that they can pee or poo, then many to say, they ha it shows that they um, has a developmental readiness. Kapag naman ang inyong toddler ay nagpapakita ng interest to be booty trained, example, kapag nawiwiwi sila or napupupo, alam nila kung saan sila pupunta, meron na silang specific place, at nagiging routine yon kapag nararamdaman nila at nakikita mo yung signal na yon that they are going to pee or poo, o kaya naman kapag napansin nyo na hindi na sila comfortable kapag nababasa yung kanilang notice, mm -hmm. kasi uh, they are emotionally ready. Kapag naman yung sagot nyo doon sa questions natin ay mostly no, then you might want to wait. Pa? Kasi darating din kayo na matututo din si Tobler. Doon sa point na kaya na ni Tobler. We just need to wait for those signs. Okay. Sa pag the train kailangan din yung readiness ng mga parents. So, dapat maging open tayo that an accident will happen. Kaya kailangan nila din nandoon yung guidance natin at nandoon tayo kapag nagpupunta sila. So, huwag natin silang kakayaan mag-isa. Uh, huwag tayong magagalit 
lalo ka pa oh, matake yung mga stubbornness ng ating mga toddlers. Just like my Lou, um, alam naman natin na aware tayo na meron silang mga attitude, attitude like mas marunong pa sila kaysa sa atin. So, kailangan natin ng patience and understanding na there are kids at kailangan natin silang turuan. Kailangan natin ng mahabang pasensya kasi very challenging na yung pagpupuli train sa ating mga kids. At para hindi tayo mahirapan, i-follow natin yung mga tips and techniques na binigay ko doon sa aking um, last uploaded video. So, makikita nyo yun sa aking YouTube channel. Madami din yung nagtatanong na kung yung readiness pa na boys ay mas late kaysa sa mga babae. Meron ko mas status that says na mas maaga yung readiness ng mga babae compared to boys. But, um, yung pagpupunit trace sa kanila is just the same. Kailangan pa rin natin ang tagay yung mga sales and readiness na nabang ito kanila. Kasi according to the study, mas maaga silang natutok compared to both. O mas maaga nakikita yung mga signs. We just need to wait for the signs bago natin sila ipotetrain. Kasi minsan, the earlier na nag-start tayo, mas matagal yung naging proseso. Kasi aantayin nyo pa rin yung readiness nila. Kung kailan sila, kung kailan handa na sila. Okay, the bottom line here is, In putty training journey of your kids, let your child motivations, not your own eagerness, lead the process. Lagi natin lang tatandaan. Okay? So, gawin natin enjoyable yung putty training journey ng ating mga kids. So, tuturaan natin sila kasi handa na sila. Hindi dahil sa narinig mo yung kapitbahay mo na ang kanyang toddler ay marunong ng gumamit ng toilet, di ba? Okay. So, let their motivations, their readiness, yung mag-lead doon sa process of puti training journey. Okay? Hindi dahil gusto na natin turuan sila. Okay. So, ayan mga kananay, I hope meron kayong natutunan sa aking video ngayon. And para sa motherhood and parenting videos, please click the subscribe button.